Welcome. With game instances you can save data across different levels, as long as your game is running. This means that unlike save game classes, the data you save in game instances will be gone as soon as the player closes the game. For the tutorial I created this example. Here the player can press increase score to increase his score. As soon as the player clicks on reload level, the level is reloaded and the score is set back to zero. We implement a game instance that can store and access the score. The logic I wrote for this widget is very simple and irrelevant to the game instance itself. Let's start by creating the game instance class. We do this under blueprint and then game instance. So when we open the class, we see a normal blueprint editor. But for us only the variables section is important. We can ignore everything else. Here we can create a new variable that will store our score. I will set the variable to public and that's all we have to do in the game instance itself. Now we can go to project settings under edit and search for game instance on the top. Under game instance class we can now insert our created class. So now we only have to create the logic in our blueprint with which we can access the variable of the game instance. In your blueprint create a get game instance node and cast the return value to the class you created. In my case main game instance. Pull out a result and look for the name of your variable and then create a set node from it. Now I just need my local value for the score and with it I will set the variable in the game instance. And that was the save function. Now we just need to access the value. Here we can take the cast from above, but now we have to create a get node instead of a set node. And we set our local variable to the result we get from the game instance. At the very end I call another function, but the function is not important for the video. So, now we are able to save and load the score even if we reload the level. And that's it with the video. If you have any questions, then feel free to post them in the comments. And if you want to support me, like and subscribe. Thank you and bye.